this for a while. Today we're talking about the All All Smile International Sales Report. My name is Billy. Let's hop into it. First, let me start off by talking about the three countries we decided to enter. We decided to enter China, Thailand, India. China for period one, Thailand for period three, and India for period seven. Let me get into a little, a little reason why we picked these three. We want to focus on, a, on markets that had a similar demographic. These markets bought, bought similar goods and had similar habits. Some of these similarities in these countries are low income, mostly shop at independent stores and hypermarts, price and effect of product are most important, younger population, smaller percentage of people over 65, mainly focus on younger demogra demogra uh, generations and families. Uh, so a little bit of the China overview. Uh, we made our production plant in China, um, which lowered the cost of production by 15%. And if we produced it in the United States, uh, we also saved 10% on tariffs and 25% on shipping costs, saving us uh, millions of dollars. Pricing was five to 10% above the lowest competitor and about the same amount uh, below the highest competitor as well. Um, this also gave us a 35% gross margin while still having a 21% market share in economy toothpaste and 24% market share in uh, healthy. And our net contribution uh, increased each year besides year five when the GDP growth uh, was at its lowest. Okay, I'm Justin and I'm gonna talk about our Thailand overview. Um, so our price was set low compared to com competitors, uh, depending on the product, it was eight to 14% lower um, than the products they sold. So this gave us a gro gross margin of about 33%. We were also able to have 40% more sales than our closest competitors. Um, our sales were actually competing with local brands uh, with their sales, only 7% higher than ours. So as shown in the graph above here, we were able to control the market in lightning at 43%. But we also have majority control and economy at 20% compared to other brands that aren't local. One con of it all was that our distribution plant in China um, making, made cost of goods sold very expensive and took 50% of our own revenue every period. Hi, I'm Lucas and I'll be talking about our Indian overview for our simulation. So we entered uh, India and around period, period seven, year seven, and um, we set our pricing um, for this period or for this um, region about 8% lower than our competitors um, because we thought it'd allow us to um, grow our awareness for our product decently fast um, in the country. Um, this also, um, by setting it 8% lower than our competitors, um, also was able to still give us a decent gross profit margin of 31%. Um, by the end of the four years, AllSmile was able to control 18% of the market and economy and 14.5% of the market in um, whitening toothpaste. Um, overall, we had six SKUs, small, medium, large um, in this region. Um, we had a small, medium, large for economy and a small, medium, large for whitening. And these products were uh, both uh, tubed in paste. Um, the main struggles that we had with the simulation was trying to um, find how much money we wanted to spend on marketing. Spending too much on marketing um, made it so that you'd still have similar brand awareness, but your company would just be losing money because you'd be spending way too much money on the same target audience. And then spending too little, too little on marketing uh, made it so um, it was hard to grow your brand. Um, for example, we tried to drastically increase overall sales um, in Thailand in year eight. Um, to do this, we increased marketing by 24%, but only increasing sales by 12% and net contribution by 20%. And this was after um, GDP was already going up in the market and sales were already exposed to, um, even if we didn't increase marketing, um, our sales were gonna go up um, because GDP was gonna go up. Um, so overall, um, that was not um, a good idea for, um, for our company. Um, but we also found that increasing um, sales, Salesforce uh, advertising promotion by five to 10%, five to 10 percent um, did little to nothing to hurt or improve um, overall sales um, for the company, especially if you're already well established in the market. Um, we found that um, if you already had a good um, brand 
um, in the market, um, increasing advertising by by ten percent. Um, did basically nothing, or or decreasing. Um, did um, very little to um, sales in order to um, see a drastic change. You would have to drastically change um, advertising down or um, increase it. Um, we also had a low return on marketing um, because in all of our countries, um, we found that we ended up um, overspending um, on marketing compared to the target audience that we were um, trying to go for. Uh, what would we do differently? Um, the main thing was instead of entering in, in entering India in period um, seven, we'd like to enter in India India um, in period five, and we'd also like to enter Philippines in the same time. Um, Philippines was also um, very similar to the target markets that we were um, that we had, we had our SKUs in, and um, the the overall um, brands. Um, or the overall products that would have been good for that country. So entering period five would have been a good idea um, for our company to do that. Um, secondly, we'd like to spend less money on marketing, um, decreasing our mar marketing our, um, economy um, by 50% would have been a good idea. And also decreasing um, the healthy and whitening by 25% um, would also uh, help um, increase, um, keep sales pretty similar, but also uh, improve gross profit margins. Focusing more on GDP and inflation forecast would have been a good idea because uh, if the GDP is going down in the country, then that is telling you that uh, you're going to have less sales and you're going to need to spend less on marketing. But if it's going up, um, then you can start spending a little bit more on marketing because um, people are going to be spending uh, more money in those markets. Um, fourthly, we would like to add pump and gel toothpaste earlier. Um, we added them in period six, but um, if we added them in China, period three and um, Th Thailand in period four or five. And with the other countries, um, we could have added them in period six. That would have been helped us to um, establish them rather better, especially for China. Uh, we had good sales in the pump gel to face for healthy. Um, we could have sold an extra couple hundred million units if we entered in period three then uh, in period six which overall would increase um, sales for the company. Um, key learnings, uh, matching competitor pricing does not always mean, um, it's not always a good idea. Having lower pricing is sometimes better. And at the same time, um, you just got to feel the market and see what, um, what your brand is uh, good at. And, um, and so having, um, especially if there is not too many competitors in that market, um, you can also have your, um, pricing a little bit higher to increase gross profit margin, but still have similar um, sales. Um, another thing we learned was spending more on marketing does not always mean that you're going to sell uh, more products. Uh, pricing and allowance are most important when starting to sell uh, products in those regions. Um, thirdly, um, the more products you offer, um, the more people you'll be able to reach in those um, and those markets leading to more sales for the company. It's a kind of a high risk, high reward, um, especially if you if you offer really good products um, that are really high quality and you spend good time with those products, um, it will help out your company a lot. But if you have a lot of products and they're all bad, then, um, or overpriced, then it will also hurt your company um, and you'd lose millions because of it. Um, fourthly, looking at the economic outlook is very important. Like I talked about um, GDP, um, you can see in years five and six um, for India and China, those are the two biggest markets we're in. And um, by looking at these, um, you would know that you should in decrease marketing and your sales force um, for these periods because your sales are going to drastically decrease um, because the GDP um, was um, going down so fast. Um, overall, all smile every year from years one to 10, we increased um, net net profits um, steadily from years one through five. And then after years five, um, we got the hang of things and started to increase uh, net profits uh, pretty rapidly. Um, but there was never a negative year or besides year one was our only negative year. Um, and that was entering the markets. But after that, um, we were able to um, have a good uh, gross profit margin of 35% and uh, net profits of 25%. Um, 
and um, All Smile did um, very well in the international regions and has um, a bright future ahead of itself.